Ladies and gentlemen, we can have your attention, please. If you'd like to gather around. If you'd like to come in out of the sun a little bit, you're welcome to get her here in the shade. On behalf of the town of Marion, Marion Fire Department, Marion Police Department, Marion Life Saving Crew, we appreciate you coming out as we continue our commemoration of Patriots Day with an honor and in honor and in remembrance of our uh, the attacks on America on September 11th, 2001. Reverend Paul Schallenberg will bring our invocation. Reverend. 11 years ago, Flight 93 was uh, landed uh, unintentionally into a field. The World Trade Centers came down. The Pentagon was attacked. Policemen, firefighters, volunteers, many of them gave their lives for us. Could we have just a moment of silence to remember those who gave all so that we could be here today? Gracious Heavenly Father, we ask that You would help us to remember those who have given so much so that we could feel safe, so that we could be secure today. Help us never to forget what they have given and what they still give to us today. Lord, we ask that You would help us to never forget what has happened in the past, what is happening in the present, in the present and if we're not vigilant what will happen in the future 
We thank you for the men and women who are gathered around us in uniform today. Lord, who are serving our town. Gratefully, we say thank you for their service in protecting us and keeping us safe. We ask for your favor, Lord, upon the men and women who are serving. And ask, Lord, that you would grant to us your continued favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. this day 11 years ago, 2,977 people perish, 2,606 in New York City, 292 of those on the street level, 125 died in the Pentagon, and 246 died on the airplanes. Today we stand to remember those, the 343 firefighters and all those who gave the ultimate sacrifice. Our first remarks today come from the Honorable David P. Helms, Mayor of Town of Marion, Mayor Helms. I tell you, these young ladies, they know how to sing the national anthem, don't they? Amen. They're our neighbors just over Blue Ridge here, so we're real proud of them and want to thank them for participating in our program. And we use them uh, several times recently. Appreciate it. I want to welcome each of you to our program today. And thank you for taking time to attend in order to support our first responders. I'm very pleased that the town of Marion continues to set aside this day to honor and remember the many people who lost their lives at the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and in the farmlands of Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Shanksville, I'm sorry. I think if you'll notice on this fire truck over here, we've all heard that quote, let's roll. For those of us who are old enough, some of us probably remember Pearl Harbor. I'm sure the majority of us, or a lot of us, remember the day that President Kennedy was assassinated and the terrorist attack of 9-11. Our great country will always be etched. This will always be etched in our memory. 
these three tragic events, and I'm sure there's many others. As I remember that day, the weather was very similar as it is today. One other thing that I remember, I love to go out at night and look at the sky and watch for planes. And if you remember, it was a very eerie feeling that night. There were no planes flying. For me, it seems just a short time ago that this tragic event took place. But for the families who were touched much closer than we were, I'm sure it is much different and eternity for them, the loss of their loved ones. We want to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice and to keep their families in our prayers. I also want to express our appreciation and thanks to our first responders, both volunteer and paid employees of our localities. Again, thank you ladies and gentlemen who serve our county. May God continue to bless this great country the United States of America, one nation under God. Thank you. Our next speaker is the Honorable Israel O'Quinn from the Virginia House of Delegates. Israel. Thank you, Ken, and thank you all so much for coming out today. It's a distinct honor to represent uh, a good portion of Smith County in the Virginia General Assembly, and I certainly thank you for that honor. Uh, the mayor was right. Today was, was oddly a lot like September 11th, 2001. Uh, the air kind of felt the same. Uh, the sun was coming through. Uh, the, the sky was clear as a bell, uh, and it, it felt eerily the same as it did that day. You know, that day we got, got that first news that, that a plane had hit the World Trade Center, and everybody thought, well, what a horrible accident. And then it was hit again, and we knew that it was no accident. And not only that, but then it really started to hit home a little closer when the Commonwealth of Virginia was attacked, with the Pentagon sitting right there in Northern Virginia. And from that point on, you know, we didn't know what was next, what could be next. There were all sorts of rumors and, and this and that, and it was a really uh, unsettling and scary time. And of course, nearly 3,000 people perished that day uh, in some form or fashion. And, you know, and there's so many just horrible images from that day of, of, of people you know, dying in terrible situations, uh, things that they certainly never planned on that morning. But amidst all the, all the horror and the terror of that day, uh, I think that there were actually two good things that came from September the 11th. First, I think that we have a renewed thankfulness and appreciation for the work that public safety officials and officers do. I know that prior to September 11th, we knew they were there. We assumed they were going to be there when the alert went off. Uh, but that day, it was proven that they were definitely going to be there and not only be there, but willing to go above and beyond up to and including giving their life for others. And so I'm thankful uh, that, we have, uh, that we've had a, a renewed focus on the public safety community uh, and those who work so hard and give of themselves so that the rest of us can be safe. You know, the second thing is that we also had an unprecedented surge of pride and patriotism. I'm ne I've never seen so many American flags pop up uh, on homes. Stickers go on cars. Uh, people wearing red, white, and blue clothing and ribbons. Uh, and, and you know, patriotism, that's a good thing, and I know that we uh, that we sometimes get caught up in the in daily life uh, and don't think about uh, and don't think about patriotism. But you know, moving forward, yes, we cannot forget what happened on September 11th, and we have to be ever vigilant in keeping the nation and the Commonwealth safe. But hopefully, we can focus on two things: one, renewing that pride and patriotism. You know, with this being an election year, particularly a national election year, it, all too often the things that divide us rather than unite us what ends up being highlighted the most. Uh, you know, I, I'm for this and you're for that, so we can't be friends. And, uh, and that's unfortunate because at the end of the day, we all really are, we are really Americans. And here in Southwest Virginia in particular, we're, actually, we're very kind and decent people. You know, we care about our neighbors. All we have to do is, you know, look at the tornadoes that came through uh, over a year ago and realize that people care about their neighbors and they care about taking care of one another. And so I hope that we can focus more on being good Americans. Uh, and, and not tearing each other down. And then I think the second thing that would be great if we could have is the spirit of Thanksgiving. You know, 
we're not promised another day on earth, not another breath. And, uh, you know, the people on the morning of September 11th who perished found that out the hard way. And uh, hopefully we can have a spirit of thanksgiving, appreciate our friends and our family a little more, uh, not get caught up in daily life, uh, but uh, to the point that we forget about our friends and our family. And again, all the, all the public safety workers who, who give so much time uh, to take care of the rest of us. And so, you know, we live in the greatest nation on earth and we should be very, very thankful for that. So thank you all again for coming out this evening. I certainly appreciate the opportunity to be here with you. Thank you. Amen. The Sons of the American Revolution have a certificate they'd like to present. John Elliott. Chief May. We, uh, we stand here today in the town of Marion to commend the town of Marion for their patriotism and proudly flying the flag of the United States of America and their commitment to the preservation of history, especially on this Patriot Day. In September 1780, some 300 to 400 militia volunteers from Smith County and Washington County under the command of Colonel William Campbell and Arthur Campbell mustered forces at Dunn's Meadow, Muster Grounds, and Abingdon, joining Tennessee volunteers at Sycamore Shoals, Muster Grounds under the commands of Colonel Isaac Shelby and Colonel John Sevier, to begin a journey on the Overmountain Victory National Historic Trail to the Battle of Kings Mountain, ending in a triumphant victory over British Loyalist forces that were proclaimed by Thomas Jefferson the turning point of the war for America's independence. The United States flag adopted in June 14, 1777 is the fourth oldest national flag in the world. Denmark's flag adopted in 1219 is the oldest. The blue field on the United States flag is called the Union. Since, 17, since 1834, the United States flag has flown continuously next to the grave of Revolutionary War hero Marquis de Lafayette near Paris, France. On this, the 11th day of September 2012, the General William Campbell Chapter of the Virginia Society of the Sons of the American Revolution is pleased to present the National Society Flag Certificate of Commendation and an antique flag uh, to the town of Marion in recognition of exemplary patriotism in the display of the United States uh, flag of America. Mayor Helms. To proudly flag. I accept this on behalf of the citizens of the town of Marion, all of our volunteer groups, particularly our VFW, uh, the VFW commander, Turk Johnson, Herbert Turk Johnson. He's at Chilhowee as we speak, or on his way back. They were recognizing most beautiful people in Smith County, not based on their looks, but on their contributions to their citizens and their visitors and their friends and neighbors. So the VFW was being recognized there tonight. So I'm not sure whether Commander Johnson would be back or not. But this group of men, they support us in our programs. Uh, those of you who attend our Memorial Day program, they're always in our parade and they uh, support us in all of our patriotic activities. Thank you very much. We'll take a second to recognize the departments that are here. If you will stand up, and if I happen to miss somebody, if you'll please uh, just let me know. Uh, Sugar Grove Fire Department. Uh, 
Stand by just in case you get a call. Thank you for coming. Adkins Fire Department. Adwell Fire Department. Winch Mountain Fire Department joining us tonight. Smith County Ambulance Service. Marion Life Saving Crew. Marion Police Department. Smith County Sheriff's Department was here, but they had to leave on a call. They're here. Got them back. Very good. And the uh, Marion Volunteer Fire Department, my brothers and sisters. One of the most amazing things that had happened to me was about seven years ago, we had the opportunity to write an essay, fill out an application, and apply for a piece of World Trade Center steel. And most of you were here last year when we received that steel. It's on display here behind the gentleman behind the American flag. In front of that, there's a flag of honor that was presented to us by the Woodman of the World and the VFW Post 4667 earlier this year. And the plans are to move forward and have this dedicated as a memorial. As many of you know, Virginia Tech came down with their design students and designed us several fantastic looking designs. And we've incorporated several of those into a final design. And we're now we're working on building something that we can afford for this community that will be a permanent and lifelong reminder of the terrible events on 9-11, but more so of the American spirit that emerged from that terrible event. This is the largest piece of steel between Baltimore, Maryland and Atlanta, Georgia. I couldn't be more proud to have it here in my hometown. Julie Driscoll is working with us on designing that memorial, and Julie, if you'll say a few words about your process and where we are on that. Thank you. Good afternoon. Virginia Tech did a wonderful job, and we tried to incorporate as many of the powerful ideas as we could. First of which being to give a nod to where the beam was recovered, Ground Zero, New York City. Uh, in honor of that, we are going to lay the, the beam at rest, pointing in the direction of Ground Zero. Secondly, we incorporated a retaining wall element with a vertical linear pattern with 343 vertical lines representing each line representing a firefighter who perished in the attacks. Secondly, the retaining wall divides the site into a formal memorial space and a greenscape. And on this greenscape, we want to have two trees dedicated to uh, one in which uh, the Pentagon to the victims that perished, and also uh, in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Uh, thirdly, our next element uh, being a water element surrounding the footprint of the beam at rest to give a moment of reflection and solace to the atmosphere. Uh, these were ideas that we felt were very prominent in the designs and uh, are hopefully symbolic in, in helping everybody remember <laughs> Uh, this day and, and how far we've moved on as a country. Thank you. <laughs> One of the most amazing groups that I get to work with on a, on a regular basis is our VFW. And uh, Kirk Johnson, if you'll come up here. When we put out the call that we were raising money for the 9-11 memorial, one group didn't blink, they didn't hesitate. They called me over and said, Ken, will you come over? We have a little don donation I'd like to make. And I'm honored that our veterans have given us the first $2,500 to building the permanent 9-11 memorial for the world and for, right here in Marion, Virginia. I'm very honored to be here to represent Francis Marion Post 4667. We are very honored to be able to give this donation for this great cause. Thank you very much.
Um, this song is from probably the little known and should be more well known Broadway musical Civil War. A lot of the lyrics in the songs of this uh, very intense and very beautifully done production um, come from actual writings of soldiers that fought. This particular song is no exception and uh, was written by a soldier to his father. It was not signed and he never knew if it got to his father and none of us do. But it did fall into the hands of some very brilliant musicians, composers. And um, the way it was written, again, from a young man to his father, it's very relevant today to us, to all the women and men, in what capacity they serve to defend this country, to defend their towns, to defend all of us. This is called Tell My Father.
things we did when we were in New York City, we went to one of the cathedrals, the one that didn't perish on 9-11 right next to Ground Zero. And there was a steel bale outside and the wrought iron gates around there. And they were doing a ribbon ceremony. And each of the folks that came by there could get a piece of ribbon, write your community's name or write a message on there and tie it to there. We took a Marion Police Department patch and a Marion Lifesaving Crew patch and a Marion Fire Department patch, cut a hole in those and put a ribbon through those, tied them to the fence to let Marion know where we stood with those who died on 9-11, and we did a bell ceremony. The bell ceremony is known as tolling of the bell, and it's reminiscent of the original firehouse bells that tolled when there was a fire. The actual ceremony is based on the pattern of the original method of communicating that there was a firefighter that had fallen, which was the telegraph. The telegraph would tap out the word fell with five measured dashes, a pause, and then repeat it. Jerry Breen was with me on that trip, and Jerry, if you'll come forward for the tolling of the bell.
And now the William King chapter of the Sons of American Revolution will have our volley. Let us close in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, again we want to be thankful people. We want to be the, the people that are called Christians, that are thankful for all that is given to us. We thank you today again for the men and women who are gathered around us, who are serving us today. Lord, help us never to forget that many of them are volunteers that, Lord, would give their lives for us. We want to remember them by saying thank you. Thank you for the men and women who have gathered here today to remember a very difficult time in our lives. Now, Lord, we ask as we leave this place that you would keep us safe until we meet again. And, Lord, we pray that your favor would continue to rest upon the United States of America. We pray these things in Jesus' name. And God's people said, Amen. 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 This concludes our program. The 9-11 steel is here. This is your steel. This is America's steel. This is the world's steel. If you haven't had a chance, feel free to walk by to touch, to feel, and to connect again with what happened on 9-11. And remember, where we have come from and where we have yet to go. Thank you all so much. May God bless America.